A lot of people also probably came at the wrong time to us there's human beings currently. There's way too many human beings currently. And they're all obstructing the view of the path of the periwinkle. So this is the most best timing ever. By the way, it's like 5.30 and I usually film at like 4.30. Also, I think that lizard just got itself into a trap over here. It's not that I have any need to trap it with right now. I do have this. I th think the human beings are coming. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and get it trapped inside. It's, it's stuck inside of the water, so like, it's, it's already trapped actually. Come back some sometime soon. So yeah, I'll come back after um the humans are gone and get that lizard trapped. So I can become my new slave. So yeah, human is gone. There's one, please. There's one, two, three, four periwinkles. So yeah, time to enslave. The, the lizard. See you after it's enslaved. Okay, humans, I have gotten, I have attained the lizard. And like what happens literally every single time I, I get a lizard, which is only like two times by the way, um, it's, it's tail got cut off. So yeah, let's, let's just not talk about that. And now let's just, I'm just gonna try to resist the urge to absolutely br brutally murder it and like make it swim in its bloodbath or something like I usually do with insects because I can't, I can't do it if it's not an insect if it's not an insect it becomes animal abuse so yeah I might put it in this in this container I previously used for my lantern flies so yeah I'm gonna have to transfer the, all of the lantern flies stuff somewhere where does it okay over here? Also it, it looks like it's pretty much dead already. Probably exhausted it too much after like trying to capture it in there. But yeah. Sorry lantern fly container. It would have to be repurposed. I'm really sorry. Look at it, it's like dead. It's like completely dead. The li 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 lizards are really fast, so I'm gonna have to watch out. It's hard to believe that, that, that this lizard is, is like aquatic or something because it's really good at swimming. It's like actually really good at swimming. I'm gonna stomp all the water out so we have no water to drink. Like, this is the most um, smart thing to do ever. It's, it's like slipping, oh my god. Yeah, see, I cut, I cut part of its tail off. It's only because it is trying to sway its tail too much. And like, outstretch it all the way so that it could not capture it. <laughs> Zero grip. I'm gonna put some mulch inside or something to increase the grip. Not sure if that's gonna be a good idea. All it's gonna do is just make it just make it easier for it to escape. Okay, I also decided to put this rock inside and it instantly is already going under the rock. So, yeah, that, that was definitely an amazing idea. Now I cannot see at all. But like, that, that, that's just what lizards do, I guess. Go under stuff. So yeah, now I, I have to like, give it, give it some sustenance and stuff, you know. Sustenance. Some water. Just like this. Got some water. Hey, I, I, at least it's easy to like, terraform now because there's no lizard to worry about. It's just underneath the rock. Definitely, I, I, I can definitely tell. I can definitely just. I, I can, cannot see it at all right now. It's just all under the rock. And yeah, just good luck surviving on only water for the next like month or something. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll find it like one insect to eat. I don't even know what they eat. Okay, I, I'll feed it tomorrow. Okay, for, for now it gets nothing. 
it gets nothing but this tiny sliver of oxygen. This tiny sliver of oxygen. Which is, it's probably going to use to escape from. But yeah, see you next time and bye. <laughs>